Hey, Marnie. <gasps> you got one chihuahua ear. And one bent one. So silly. What are you doing, princess? Oh, are you getting loved up by your dad? What is going on here? You're getting caught now. What huh? is happening? Oh, yeah. Fight now. Oh, yeah. I oh, hate that. Oh. oh, my God. He's hurting me. He's hurting me so bad. <laughs> let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ow, ow. Look, I'm fighting. Mom, I'm fighting. Don't you are do not fighting. You're kissing. You're, you're a traitor. You are a traitor. Okay. Give me some love. What a brat. Hey guys, what's up? I am going to be reading The Hunting Wives by May Cobb. This was selected by Greg. I let him pick my um, next book because I finished the one I was reading last night. So this is what we're going to be working with. The Hunting Wives. As you can see, this is my, this is like my little e-library. I have a ton of Daniel Steele books in here. This is like all Daniel Steele. Lots of Daniel Steele. So much Daniel Steele. But I'll go back to reading her books a little bit later. But we're going to try this one. See how this is. I just kind of checked it out. Let's see. Alright. This book has got 642 pages. According to my e-reader. So... But this is like page one, page two kind of thing. So, not too bad. So we'll go through that, read it. See, this is a Berkeley book. Um, it's fiction, thriller, suspense, psychological. So this is what they say the book is about. Um, the hunting wives of East Texas share more than target practice, day drinking, and bad behavior in this novel of, obs of obsession, seduction, and murder. Sophie O'Neill left behind an envy inspiring career and the successful competitive life of big city Chicago to settle down with her husband and young son in a small Texas town. Seems like the perfect life with a beautiful home in a rural community. But Sophie soon realizes that life is now too quiet and she is feeling bored and restless. Then she meets Margot Banks an alluring socialite who is part of an elite clique secretly known as the hunting wives. Sophie finds herself completely drawn to Margot and swept into her mysterious world of late night target practice and dangerous partying. As Sophie's curiosity gives way to full blown obsession, she slips further away from the safety of her family and deeper into the nest of vipers. When the body of a teenage girl is discovered in the woods where the hunting wives meet, Sophie finds herself in the middle of a murder investigation and her life spiraling out of control. So that's what the book is about. All right, I'm going to try to get some reading done. And uh, maybe, maybe I can finish it this weekend. Who knows? We'll see. It's, an, it's a long weekend for me. So, yay. All right, let's get to reading. Hey, guys. So I'm on chapter 25 of The Hunting Wives. And I'm sitting here trying to decide whether or not I should just... TBR this book or continue reading. I'm really annoyed. There's a lot of things that are troubling to me. You've got 40 something year old women out cheating on their husbands, sleeping with young boys. Um, I'm pretty sure that Margot just slipped a date rate drug in um, Sophie's drink. I'm just like, I'm annoyed. I'm so annoyed. So, I don't know if I'm going to keep going with this or not. I'm going to talk it out with Greg. <laughs> Figure out what I'm going to do because I'm annoyed. And I don't feel like it's going to get any better. None of the characters have been... None, none of their personalities have been explored, really. It's just very... It's, it's a very dry, dull book good concept but I'm just not I don't know I'm not feeling it all right here we go we are jumping into the roommates by Rosie Dannon and uh, let's see how this turns out we've got 
38 chapters. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Not? You're going to fall off. Come over here. Marnie, look at me. <laughs> that, you can kind of see here. <laughs> this right here. It hurts. Goes up and down. I will get close to your heartache If you want to open your door mm. I'm feeling kind of lost when your mind is hiding Whatever that is choking your chest I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking Cause you're holding it back Greg and I are out in the Jeep today I've got a little bit of Jeep hair going on here He's filling up the tank, and then we gotta head to the store. We gotta get some containers to um, put the fresh spring water in when we go to get the spring water. And I'm going to be starting um, 75 hard on Monday, and I've gotta drink a gallon of water a day, so probably have to go fill up again maybe in two weeks or so. So uh, yeah, he's gotta be prepared for that. I've, he doesn't know that yet. Hey babe. We're probably going to have to get a whole bunch of spring water because i got to drink one gallon of water per day. Okay. Yay. Spring is a little slow, but it's not bad yet. It's true. And we found gas for $2.83 a gallon, which is like super cheap. That's like almost 20 cents cheaper per gallon than every other place around. <gasps> I see other Jeeps with the tops off. Beep, beep. Greg's getting sunburned already. It's early too. It's 9.34. All right, let's see if they got what we came for. Sun-made sour raisin snacks and strawberry. Well, this is cheap. That's it's 20 cents and it's just enough to get you mad. Oh, there's nothing in there. You can't even feel it. I thought they were two cents. Weird. Look at this. We've got Carolina Reaper sauce, ghost pepper sauce, and pineapple habanero. Interesting. I think they got. Oh, what's that? Thick. I got thick sauce. What was that one that we got before? It was like extra, extra or something spicy, but. Yeah. Look. Carolina Reaper, ghost pepper, and pineapple habanero sauce. What? You know it's not going to be super spicy. Where's it made? Especially not for a dollar sixty. <laughs> hmm. Say where's it made at? Um. Costa Rica. It's made in Costa Rica. Costa Rican women like spicy stuff. You want to try? Mm -hmm. Don't mind me. Try one. Okay. So I think. So we're gonna get this. Yeah, we have to get the Reaper one. Cause. If I don't get the Reaper one, then everybody's gonna be like, Don, why are you being such a baby? <coughs> I can handle this. I got this. Greg is trying to check his online app because we can't find the gallon jug thingies that we came for. But they've got really slow internet too, so we're dealing with that. 